Hi guys, it's Jay here and welcome to another product review from Genuine Solutions. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hypergear H2O wireless speaker which is also water resistant, one of the major features of it. As you can see uh, in the packaging you get a, a wireless speaker in there, you can see quite clearly through the uh, packaging there. A bit hard to get in, inside the actual product but once you do you have your water resistant speaker here. Let's see what else we've got. You get your USB charging cable there also and uh, a step-by-step -step manual really is pretty straightforward. Just tells you the features that you've got with, um, for this product as you can see. Uh, so let's have a closer look at it. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty simple kind of device here uh, for a speaker. You've got your um, on and off button, you've got your um, forward and skip back and forth, you've got your play and um, pause button there. And also if your phone rings as well, you can actually answer it through the device. On the side here, you have your charging port, which you put your um, sort of fin pin charger in here. And, um, into the power supply with a USB cable. You can use any sort of uh, uh, USB head um, for that. So if your phone actually takes a USB, you can use that as well. You don't actually get one with the device. Uh, obviously one of the key features is this is actually water resistant. It's all sealed as you can see here. So no water will damage the actual speaker is coming out of the back here. And as you can see here, you've got your, your suction mounting, which could mount uh, on your shower, uh, on your tiles in your shower, in your bathroom. Um, it can be also used at the pool side, so you can mount it uh, next to the pool if you're on holiday or if you're lucky enough to have a pool in your back garden, um, but also in the kitchen as well. So it's a very useful kind of speaker. Uh, so, um, so you can use um, around the house still as well. Um, it's from the low end of the um, Hypergear range of speakers. Uh, because obviously you've got the higher end one, which will be more expensive. This retails at about 16 in your retail stores. So for, to get a full charge out of this, you probably need to charge it for about three hours um, on a full charge, and then you'll be able to get six hours playback time with this, um, with this device once it's fully charged. Um, as you can see, as I said before, the speakers here, I've tested this myself. Uh, it's not very uh, loud speaker. Uh, the volume doesn't go very high, but obviously you'll be in the shower or you'll be by the pool, so you wouldn't be very far from it um, at all. Um, the range on this is about 10 meters once connected to your Bluetooth device. Uh, so um, you, get, you get quite a good range on it um, around sort of the bathroom. Your bathroom's probably not that big, but you'll get a good range on it as well with 10 meters there. So uh, let's have a look and see what this sounds like. So let's have a listen to this device and hook it up. So it's simple, just turn it on. Hypergear Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And it indicates that it's ready to pair. So you get your phone device and start pairing it. Just wait till it comes up on your Bluetooth settings. Hypergear Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Once it's connected, it will let you know that it's connected as you can hear. So let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Just turn it up to full volume. The club isn't the best place to find the lovers, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends at the table doing shots, triple bars, and then we talk slow. Let's have a pause of that just to. So as you can sound, see, as you can hear, it's uh, not so bad. Uh, it's quite a good, uh, quite a good device. It'll be loud. It'll be quite good acoustics within within your bathroom or maybe your kitchen. So it'll give you a good sort of. Uh, so there's, uh, as you can hear from the quality of sound, it's it's not too bad. But uh, as you can see, there's not much bass or on it. It's quite sort of tinny, as it, as it were. But for for the lower end of the market for a speaker, I think there's good quality and it's got its very good uses especially as it's water resistant, you're not gonna damage it if you get a bit of water on it or anything like that, a bit of splash on it. As I say, use it in the shower, sing along if you like as well to the new Ed Sheeran tune. Um, and um, yeah, it's, I think um, overall it's a very good product. 
Uh, it's very sturdy, it won't break either. So it's, it's, it's very good in regards to the lower end of the market for speakers. Um, and that's it uh, really for that. It also comes in a couple of colors. So we have also the pink version for maybe the ladies and also the blue version for the guys out there and also a neutral black color as well. So these are the three colors that um, Hypergo have produced in, 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 these, uh, in these speakers, these waterproof speakers. Um, and um, yeah, that's about it really. So if you uh, enjoyed this review uh, on the Hypergear H2O speaker, um, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much and see you next time.